gonna put some wind in your tires. Hey, good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. If this is your first time here watching one of my videos, we are an American family living in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Right? And we make videos just kind of taking you around Indonesia, showing you Indonesian food, you know, tourist places that are uh, around the area here, and sometimes we take you on moto vlogs. And so that, guys, is what we are doing today. Now, actually, I want to share with you like five or so tips uh, for riding a motorcycle in Indonesia. I know that a lot of you guys are tourists, right? And uh, you're coming here to Indonesia. Maybe you're going to Bali. You're going to want to rent a scooter and uh, drive around because it's good, cheap, fast, right? Transportation. And uh, I don't blame you, man, because motorcycles are a lot quicker than going around in a car. Because look at these cars we're just passing right here. So, what do you need to know about that? Well, first of all, number one tip, I guess, is to make sure you're legal, right? You're going to need to get an international driver's license from your home country. Now, if you're coming from the United States, that is super, super easy, right? Just go to AAA and uh, tell them that you want an international driver's license and then uh, they'll give you one, right? And that uh, costs $15, it's good for a year. It'll have your picture on, it's like a little book thing. And uh, you wanna make sure you have that because sometimes they have like these sweepings where they will just block off the road and they will push all motorcycles into a parking lot and they will check all your documentation. If you don't have a driver's license, it's gonna be a big hassle, right? So number one, make sure you're legal. Number two, what about safety? Well, in Indonesia, you are supposed to wear a helmet, right? That is the law, at least for adults. It's kind of questionable and I've heard different things about children. And so children may not be required to wear a helmet, but you as an adult definitely wanna wear a helmet. You could get stopped. And again, that'd be a big hassle if you're not wearing your helmet. So make sure you're wearing a helmet. But what about other safety gear, right? Well, I know that, you know, like back home, we wanna wear a lot of safety gear. You want the jackets, you want the padding, you want the boots, you want everything, right? To try to stay safe. Now, you're probably gonna have to bring that with you if you wanna wear that here because the market here for clothing is so much smaller, right, than, than what we would have back home or in Europe or something. And so if you're looking for that type of safety clothing here, you're probably not going to find it in your size. And if you do, it is going to be extremely expensive. But look right here. This is my family right here in front of me, right? This is Jules and Seth. Seth's wearing shorts and flip-flops. Jules is, uh, she's wearing jeans and sandals most likely we'll try to get up here and take a quick look here yep jeans and sandals with a t-shirt right really common uh tire here right for riding motorcycles let's just look at these guys feet right here sandals 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 shoes shoes sandals shoes shoes sandals shoes right tons of sandals people wearing riding their motorcycles super common now most people are going to wear something that is long sleeve and that has less to do with safety than it does to do with getting dark, right? And so in Indonesia, being uh, tan or darker than you would be naturally, like without any sunlight, is kind of a negative thing. It's different than the way that we would perceive it back home. And so they don't want to get dark, so they'll wear long sleeves. And sometimes they'll wear like uh, knitted kind of snow gloves. They've also started making these things for girls. They look like cooking mitts that you put your hand in and it goes, it's like permanently attached to your motorcycle and you put your hands in there so that the top of your hands don't get tan. And so that's what you're gonna see a lot of people wearing long sleeve shirts and stuff on their motorcycles, even though, right, it's like 90 degrees and 85% relative humidity. So safety, right? That's just gonna have to be a decision that you make. Right, what are you gonna wear when you go riding? And that's a, a personal choice, right, that you need to make. But the law requires that you wear a helmet. So what else? Well, we drive on the left side of the road here, right? So make sure that you remember that when you turn down streets because now when you first start driving on the opposite side of the road, unless you're from one of those weird countries that, that drives on the other side, um, it can be confusing. And the way that I remembered from the beginning was my wedding ring, right? My wedding ring always goes to the shoulder of the road. And that way I remember what side of the road I'm supposed to be on. I mean, now it's just second nature. We've been here for like eight years total. 
but um, but in the beginning I remember that was pretty confusing so make sure you're on the right side of the road and uh, another tip is don't expect anybody to really follow the rules right um, you'll see people going up the wrong side of the road you'll see people not looking when they turn not using their signals going around people when you're not supposed to go around people uh, passing people on the sidewalk and so you know just be prepared for people not to follow the rules that you may normally be accustomed to in your home country and uh, just you know be diligent as you drive and pay really close attention see like look at this right here see this should be not done by people back home but we're here and that's how you drive here and so this is why motorcycles are faster right now we're kind of up here on the sidewalk if you can call that a sidewalk where that car is parked so maybe it's not a sidewalk I don't know but um, that is something that you need to be aware of and pay close attention to another thing that you really want to pay uh, attention to is how you drive meaning don't do anything too quickly right don't turn quickly don't stop too quickly don't take off too quickly right when you're when you're driving around here you're gonna notice that most things are done very slowly right and so that's gonna make you a lot safer because everybody else is intending on people moving really slowly and so you want to get over right but it's full of cars well you just start doing it really slowly right you need to get out into traffic I mean back home we just sit and we'd wait and there would be a break in the traffic and then you just go out there really quick right you just kind of move out there in, in traffic quickly well here it doesn't really work that way right you just kind of got to sneak on out there and just start moving really slow and people are gonna stop or they're gonna get out of the way or something like that but you just watch people and watch what they do and uh, you kind of get the hang of it remember though the tip here is do everything slowly and that way you won't get yourself in big trouble all right big trouble as I mean crashing into somebody or somebody crashing into you because they weren't expecting you to go so quickly another tip that I'd like to share with you is that you do not have to go to a gas station to purchase gasoline or to put air in your tire you just want to look for a place that looks a lot like this right here guys and uh, you can get your tires repaired you can get gas right which they sell right here in uh, these gas bottles right here I think these are old alcohol bottles but that's gasoline in there and so this guy right here is just giving us some air it should cost about 10 cents per tire and to get air in your tires you could just say something like Mao Isi Angin You're gonna put some wind in your tires another tip right sides of the road now that is uh, that's questionable right I mean the right side of the road there's the definite right side but that doesn't mean that everybody's gonna go the right direction on the road that's what I'm kind of getting at a lot of times you'll see people go in the wrong direction on the street right? like these people right here she's gonna start going the wrong way on that street until there's a clearing that she's gonna get over on her side of the road really super common also if it's a divided road like the ring road in joke Jakarta and you need to get someplace right which would require you to go the opposite way of traffic because there's a center divider in the road well a lot of times you'll see people going along the shoulder of the road the opposite direction of traffic and like you might walk that way right on the side of the road but they'll be driving that way on their motorcycle and so be aware of that don't get confused sometimes if you see people coming in your lane and you're thinking oh I need that I'm in the wrong lane well you're probably not in the wrong lane they're just probably going against traffic all right so that's another tip most places where you park motorcycles is going to be a really tight squeeze in other words the motorcycles are going to be parked really close together if you're any place fairly popular at all uh, the motorcycle parking is going to be really tight and so kind of be prepared for that as well you need to like squeeze in there and squeeze off the bike and you know you may be touching another motorcycle or something like that don't worry about it that's normal I leave my helmet on the motorcycle like you can see that one right there it's got a, a helmet on it let's see these ones here most of them don't have a helmet on them hi Sether how's it going another option that you could do if you don't want to drive a motorcycle yourself is to download the Gojek app or the grab app and on there you're gonna be able to order motorcycle taxis 
right? That will come and pick you up and take you wherever you want to go. And they use GPS. It's all on your phone, right? You set the location where you are. Super simple and uh, pretty affordable to use as well. Up here, a little ways, like right in front of Julie, there's actually a Grab motorcycle right there. And then uh, you've probably seen uh, guys with green jackets as we've been driving. Those are either Grab or Gojek motorcycles. Remember what I said about driving on the sidewalk? So that's how it's uh that's how it's done we're not the strange ones let's see oh yeah so here's a good example all right so right here we've got a grab guy and right there we've got a gojek guy there's a gojek person over there also it's time to go all right guys those are my tips for driving a motorcycle here in indonesia if you have a question that i did not answer in this video i would love to try to answer that just leave it down in the comments below either myself or one of the many viewers here from indonesia could answer your question and i would love to hear your questions all right guys we hope you have a really great day and keep smiling